welcome to Little Wellness Corner. And I'm just showing you guys how I make my bulletproof coffee every morning. So I basically take a little bit of a different approach than what most people use. Um, I make it two ways, but I'm gonna show you my first version, which is very easy, simple, and really fast and effective. And then the second version, which I'll make a different video for, is more of a nutrient-dense type of bulletproof coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and start warming up my coffee maker, which I have a handy-dandy Keurig. So I'm gonna go ahead and start warming that up, and then um, I'll let you guys know how I make my coffee. So uh, stay tuned. So here is my Keurig ready to go, and I'm gonna go ahead and just lift this up and put it in there. I use organic coffee, and um, I find it cheaper. I get it at Costco, and I pretty much use that to make my uh, bulletproof coffee. Um, it's a really big bag, cost-effective, and I don't even use the K-cups. I just use the reusable one. So here we go. Let's get to pouring. So I'm back and I have my brewed coffee already nice and done here. I love my little coffee cup, so check this out. I love what it says. I'm a Virgo and yes, of course, I have to have a Virgo cup because that's just what Virgos do. We're very proud of our sign. So anyway, back to my point. So yeah, just have your uh, cup of coffee nice and ready, nice and hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this in my, um, I have a um, Nutribullet. So if you have a magic bullet, that's fine. Anything that kind of is a fast, little high-speed blender, if you have a regular blender, that's fine too. I have a handy dandy Vitamix that I used to use this before I had this, um, but I just find this easier to use because I just hated washing that Google container out. So next up, we're gonna put this MCT oil. This is called Brang Octane MCT oil. It's the Bulletproof brand. You don't have to get this brand. You can use regular coconut oil, or you can also use um, some just regular MCT oil, but I just like this brand because I know I'm getting good quality MCT. And MCT, if you don't know about it, it's just basically coconut oil on steroids. It has a lot of um, benefits. If you're trying to get into ketosis faster, this is something that you might want to use instead of using regular coconut oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, put a teaspoon. So I'm just using a teaspoon. And I'm just gonna put one teaspoon of this oil inside my cup. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my butter. This is Kerrygold butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this butter. Now people are like, what, butter in your coffee and oil, isn't gonna get nasty? Um, no, not if you blend it. If you drink it without it not being blended, then yeah, it gets, doesn't taste very well. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna get my block of butter, and I'm just gonna run my um, tablespoon across this my teaspoon, I'm sorry. Just enough to where I can see where most of it's full. I'm sure if you wanted to, you can probably cut this in chunks, you know, just to kind of save some time in the morning so you don't want to sit there and scrape through this. I also use ghee, but just to make things simple and easy, I think that this Kerrygold butter is much easier to find in ghee and less expensive. Um, so especially if you're gonna be using this type of um, MCT oil, um, it can get a little bit pricey, but if you're just using regular coconut oil and um, Kerrygold butter, then it's fine. Um, you won't be spending breaking the bank or anything. And then I also put a little splash of cinnamon and I also put a little squeeze of um, stevia. Now let me go get that for you because I forgot to bring that here. So I'm back. So here is the, um, the cinnamon I use. You can use any old cinnamon, but again, I like to be, I'm gonna make something healthy, I like to keep it healthy. So I like to use organic products. So I don't even measure it, I just really just pour it in like this and sprinkle it in there. And then um, I get to my stevia drops. So if you're doing keto, this is one of the things that you're gonna want. You're gonna want to get this glycerin um, stevia drops because there's no powder in it. And if you use stuff that has powder, like the powder in stevia packets, then you might be getting some extra carbs that you don't want because they usually add fillers in it, like some cornstarch or some dextrose. So just to make sure that everything's good and simple and pure, um, just go ahead and grab yourself one of these. Now these, this looks really small and it looks like, oh my God, I can go through this really fast. But I think there's like 375 um, drops that you can get out of this. So for me, it lasts me about, um, I would say like about a month. And I and I know on stevia, I mean, I'm a sweet girl and I like to have sweet things. So this is like my best friend right now. So I'm gonna just put um, four drops um, now it gives it a nice hint of sweetness it's not overly sweet but I would say max you'd want to put eight drops if you're just like uh-uh I need some super sweet um, mocha latte type of feeling from Starbucks 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my little um, my little tube here. Put this on. Now there's a bunch of fun spices you could play around with. Um, you can get pumpkin spice right now. It's holiday season coming up, and so that's always a fun one. Get some apple pie seasoning spices and so on. And so basically, just play around with all the different spices. So, are you ready? Let's do this. starting to be created in the different layers. I mean, it's just amazing. This coffee is so amazing. So this is pretty much it. Now, be careful when you open this because sometimes from all the heat, it likes to escape out and then you'll get little like bursts of little uh, bulletproof coffee drops. And if you're wearing some stuff that you don't want to get, you know, oil and coffee on, so just be really careful when you open it up because it is hot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pour it. In my lovely cup. This is like amazing goodness right here. So healthy for you, so good, so nutritious. So what I do is if I'm fasting, I have myself two of these bad boys. This is why I only use a teaspoon of each. But if I was not um, gonna have two of these throughout the day, then I would have um, a tablespoon of each. Each of a tablespoon of the MCT oil or coconut oil and then a teaspoon of, I mean a tablespoon of this um, Kerrygold butter. So a tablespoon of this and a tablespoon of that if you're um, only gonna be having one of these throughout the day. But since I'm fasting and I kind of like to have one in the morning and then one again, like maybe, you know, I usually break my fast at around 10 and 11. So I'll kind of have that with my breakfast. So, cause the girl has to have coffee with her breakfast in the morning. I don't care if it's 11 o'clock or two o'clock in the afternoon. If it's considered breakfast time, I have to have my coffee with it. So pretty much um, I have one in the morning, like when I'm taking the kids to school, I get a nice little boost of, um, you know, mom juice in the morning, basically, while I'm driving everybody. Coming back home, I got my little daughter Delilah, which you can hear in the background, probably um, playing with her little toys and stuff. And so I come home and I make her breakfast, get her all settled. And I do find that um, this intermittent fasting does help with having a relaxing morning because I'm not trying to feed myself, feed her, feed all the kids. It's kind of like, let me just take care of all the duckies, have my coffee in the car and just hang out and chill. And then in the morning after maybe I do my workout or after I get some work done, I'll come home or make my second cup of coffee along with my breakfast and then I'm good to go for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a taste of this. Mm. This is so good, so amazing, you guys have to try it. Let me see if I can get a little coffee shot here. So anyway, I'm gonna give you guys a coffee shot, but I'm gonna let you guys go. So make, let me know if you make it this way, let me know how you like it with the differences with um, one tablespoon versus a teaspoon. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll put the links below in the comment description of where I ordered all my products from. Um, and as well as you can't get this um, like on Amazon or anything, but you can go ahead and get this at like Trader Joe's. Um, just go to the butter section, they have it there. Costco has this big one which comes with three of them and um, really cheap if you go get it at Costco. But you can pretty much find this almost anywhere now. So this is again the Kerrygold butter. So anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna go have my breakfast and have a great day and thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like or subscribe to my blog, my YouTube channel, um, because it definitely helps support me and um, spread the awareness of health and wellness. So take care, ciao, have a great day.